God. Look who's here. What is up, my first? Welcome back to another exciting, super fun, packed, filled fishing video. Uh, meeting up with, as you can see right back behind you guys, the porn stash. He's down there at the, the spilling way, of course. That's what he likes to do is fish the spilling ways. But that's what we're doing today, actually, in this video. This morning we went, caught some bass from a local pond. Go watch that video if you haven't. Caught some good ones on a swim jig and a frog. Uh, and a slammer, a little topwater swim bait guy. And now we are going to uh, explore some really ultra shallow spillways. It hasn't rained for a few days, so I don't know how much water is going to be flowing through them. But we've caught some good fish at them in the past, and so we need to go explore them. Um, yeah, if you like this type of video, please go hit the subscribe button right now. That's what we like to do is go out and explore these new bodies of water. So I'm going to take some of those six rods. Uh, I brought entirely too much tackle and, and one backpack, and we're going to go try to catch some. Catch you guys the spillway. All right, so we have a box of tackle in the backpack. I ended up bringing two rods. We got the Melican Fishing, the mf -er, Frog and Stick. I know, not available yet, but will be soon, guys. I want a braid rod. I got a frog tied on that guy. And then we got a, a sensory. This is my favorite one of these six cent sensory rods. The 7.4 medium heavy. This thing is like so light and freaking crispy. Love it, but got a little D-bomb action on there. I think there's gonna be some trees back here to flip if I remember correctly. Only been back here once, but let's go see if porn stash has caught any. Hey, dickhead. He's not back here yet. He must be a ways away. It's like a good place to start, maybe. Probably not, who knows? Let's do it. Hey. I'm down here, dickhead. Hi. I'm gonna try this side. There's one. Come here, bud. <laughs> That's, big, That's funny. That is, I mean, that's pretty crazy. We're way back here in the freaking bush. Flipping into a trash pile. What are you going to pull out of your pants? No, Dad, I have a big camera now. Oh, my God. Three pounder back in a crick. A crack? This is a crick or a crack? Regardless, he came from that right there, creaking, creak, creak action. It's a good start, I'd say. <laughs> <laughs> it would have been a good release. It, it had potential. It had potential, except the water was two inches deep. So we've had three bites in this one tree. Yep, there he goes. You can thing. See he's going back. He's going back to it. Oh yeah. I'm gonna catch him again. Do it. Right, right now. <laughs> Good he, job, Dad. He'd probably bite. He wasn't very smart. He bit right away. What's that? Juicy lips meat? I think it's a cheeseburger. It's a good looking cheeseburger. It kind of is. I don't want to eat that. <laughs> I found it on the side of the road. <laughs> Porn Stash found his cheeseburger on the spot. We just switched spots. He found it right over there. I think it was next to that cup from the gas station. But uh, yeah, we just switched to a new spillway. It's gonna be better. First one wasn't great for me, anyways. Porn stash caught some before I got there. Like a dickhead. That did pretty good. You did decent. Yeah, yeah we like caught like five or six of them on there. Yeah. We're about to catch some hammer shoggins, and Josh has the uh, catfish stuff too, so we're gonna do some back here. Why are you walking to the end, man? Spillway number two. Commence. Oh. There we go. Giants only. It's like farmers only. But giants only. Just had to pick up the old secret Gillikin color. <clears throat> My custom squared bill color used to be it was gonna be mills gill but then everyone said it should be called gillikin so we're gonna call it gillikin i don't know if you get it but i 
I snagged one. Ricocheted off one's face, which is key. That a babe. Begging. Begging. Small one. <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> Good catch, Josh. Almost. Big in. Got a big in. Just keep those pulls coming. I'm going to keep the bait coming, Josh. Yeah. We're probably good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the master. Don't talk to me. I'm in my zone. Big rod. That actually is a good one. That one's edible. It does kind of have the coloration, but I don't think so. What'd you say? Yeah, they might. Hybrid red air, ultra rare. Ultra rare catch it a shithole spillway in a shithole state. There are some pretty good sized bluegills down here. Boom! So good at this. Man, that guy has been attacked on numerous occasions. Yep, that ain't no blue head. That ain't no blue head. Got myself a LMB. Oh, he got it deep too. Look at that little guy. Josh, what's your deal? Are you fly fishing over there? Can you see it? I'm gonna throw Mr. Largehead back. He ain't using him for bait yet, maybe. Considering it. I don't know, but I should catch that bass. It's swimming away with my little clout guy dirty clout guy brand new caught some fish on the last video this morning if you guys were watching this guy is badass let me tell you the favorite thing about this bait besides that it catches fish these guys are 4.99 for a 10 pack you heard it here first cheaper than stupid Senkos, and i think they work better probably just being biased but way heavier way more wobble more durable neater cooler and things is that your pb are the geese gonna eat my bobber get out of here geese yeah those geese are about to be in your line homie uh, <laughs> hey <laughs> hey geese <laughs> what do you catch them on you throwing a jig the inbred jig it's not very pretty now the plastic's falling apart it's okay Catching big fish on them at least. Gigantors. Hold on, here's the oldest trick in the book. You gotta hide your finger. Does it look bigger? Can't even see your face. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I guess I didn't really show you guys because we got down here and got excited to start catching some. Fishing's been pretty slow so far, no big bass. A lot of little ones moved up here and now we're doing some cat fishing, but basically we got a little feeder pond guy up there. This is like a silt dam. All these pillars and there's bluegill like loaded in there where the water's coming in and Josh is yelling at geese. Typical. <laughs> Gonna spear one? <laughs> but uh, <laughs> usually we can catch some good bass right up in yonder where the water's coming in but unfortunately today it's like not the best time of the day probably to be up in here but that's okay we're, we're making the most of it. we're getting some bites i'm getting some bites on this uh this new six cents stick worm the clout worm i'll link it down below it's it's badass i got a tournament saturday i'm gonna rip some lamps on it i just scared all the fish away i'm sorry they're gone all right there isn't that many anyway they're gone <laughs> that was the last fish catch you'll see there we go giants dude giants in here actually there was a giant just one though oh kitty pole kitty pole is cracking up here we had a little drag peelage we're gonna let mr bass head go and go check it bye bud what do you think you're doing up here kitty rod If he does it again, I'm ripping it out of his face. That way we don't have to reel it in and hurt our arms. That was a good little bite. It 
What's he doing? What's he doing? We got, what is this? This is a bluegill head, right? Bluegill body on the bottom out there underneath the geese. Don't worry, folks. It wasn't the geese that tried to eat it. Or maybe it was. I don't really know or care. Is that a big one? It's a better one. He swallowed it to his damn tail. <laughs> I mean, it's a, I mean, it's an upgrade. It's a, it's a hair larger. I don't think. Juan hair. I don't think he thought that was a jig. I think he thought it was a bluegill. You think he thought it was gone. fake <laughs> or real? I think real. Oh Good work, goodness. Josh. I got that same jig tied on. I should throw it. That's what I should do. Probably. That's nice. Things are happening. What? Oh, get off that pylons! Uh oh, that's bad. That's bad. He's back. He's back. Get him, Josh. Oh, it's a kitty. Kitty dog. <laughs> On the bobbiner. Oh God, he's he slapped it. He's not happy. I'm so happy right now. Get it down. Camera was off. I just looked up and it was, I was like, oh. He's had it for a month and a half. Probably. I mean, that's like a seven or something. Yeah, that's not bad. Good for you, anyway. Oh, I'm just going to smash it. <laughs> Man, I'm going to have to prove my catfish prowess by <laughs> unkilling him. That's the way to get those out there. You pull it right out of the gill, right? Yeah, just pull it out of the gill, get the eyelet. I'm not sure if it's going to work this time, but if you get the eyelet, you can just rotate it out. Name? Oh, God. I even got the bait. Expert. I don't know where we would get more. Pow. <laughs> <laughs> That's a baby pow. How's your hand doing? It's gonna look like you caught a big one. Yeah, he's gonna nibble me up, but. Oh, crushed it. Unfortunately, it's a baby. Sorry, bud. Bye. Okay, and members back at the house now. It got freaking hot out today, and it's supposed to be really, really hot moving forward. They're talking like mid 90s, sunny, no clouds, no wind, no rain, nothing. And that's all it got today. You know, given the conditions that we had today, really high skies and, and not really any conditions except hot as balls, we were pretty happy. We didn't catch any big bass, but we caught numbers. We easily caught those bluegills for bait, which was. I always enjoy catching a little bluegill and stuff like that. And then we caught the good catfish on the bluegill. So all in all, really, really fun day. Plus, caught some fish on the new Six Sense Plastics. Look at the site here. They just got these put up here. Uh, yeah, I know I made the video the other day where I talked about the new um, shaky head worm, but this was the uh, this is the clout worm that I was using today. It's a really unique stick bait. It's got all these ridges on it, and that makes it shimmy give off a different vibration than any other on the market but it's super super heavy falls really fast and like i was telling you guys it's 4.99 for a damn 10 pack that's like unheard of on the market um and also up we have the ned fry this guy floats it's at 4.6 inches so you can bite it down smaller if you want or you're going to use it like i'm going to use it a lot moving forward and that is on a nico rig a um, couple colors available for that guy uh, of course the shaky head worm i'm not going to show you that because we talked about it in the last video where casey got the 12 pounder on it but the swim bait this is the guy i've been using right here as my uh, my swim jig trailer um, also works great by itself on a swim jig head which also are available under terminal tackle um, but yeah amazing colors i'm super super freaking jacked these are finally on the market you guys might be wondering why only four different types of baits were released and you probably see me throwing a bunch more prototypes this is just kind of like a, an early get in the door run of these baits. They're selling out very, very fast. And so please hit the link down below if you want to pick some up. I know like 
I think Casey said we had over 500 orders since that video went up uh, with the Magnum Shaky Head Worm in like 12 hours. So thanks to UMFers for going and supporting the cause. Of course, use the promo code MF10. You can get them even cheaper than these are already super reasonably priced. And I think towards the start of 2020 is when the entire line um, of soft plastics is going to be released as well as uh, more colors of the current ones that are on here and then uh, a re-up, a, a restocking. That is, then all people are also asking me if they're gonna be available on Tackle Warehouse. I think very, very soon. Um, again, this this quick run of them is going to be up and available if you want to purchase on there as well or any other dealer. But um, yeah, thanks so much for watching this video. And efforts, if you like the spillway stuff, if you like the bass fishing, cat fishing type stuff, go hit the subscribe button right now. I'd love if you did that. And I'll catch you guys very soon. I'm not sorry. I can't help this love like mine.